hi and welcome back to another video one thing i have personally come to like so much about um, a solar system is the fact that you can always start small and then go big later so starting small has to do with the number of um, solar panels as well as batteries and then other accessories you might need and then you are always able to upgrade um, data to you know a bigger um, package or solution so you could recall that when we were um, approaching electricity phase like get electricity for this house and we decided to consider solar we we're able to start small that, that was um, starting with two batteries um, two panels and then added so in today's video let's talk about the upgrade of our solar system So as I was saying earlier, we started off with a solar system with just two batteries. That was um, 100 age um, batteries each. So that gave us like 200 amp hours. And then also um, two panels um, of each. That was um, 180 watt each. That was 360 watt of um, panels. That was what we got. And then we had the inverter. That was 3 kVA or 3000 watts of inverter. There's some few other accessories. Now, that particular solution wasn't able to power much as of then. Uh, it was basically, you know, to help us test um, the electrical system that we've had installed and then to use some few power tools. So it was able to power up some few power tools, not for a long time. You know, we had to regulate how we're using those power tools so that we don't run completely out of battery as of then. So that particular solution, as you can recall in some of my videos, was um around 6600 cities plus there about that was what it did cost for um that particular solution having the two panels two batteries and then one inverter and then some few other accessories to you know get started with that and then aside from that when we continue working on this house and then it got to a point where we needed more to use more power tools uh there was a need to upgrade uh, from that particular solution to something higher. So that meant that we had to go in for two additional batteries that was 100 AH each and then two more panels and then also some few accessories to help with um, that particular upgrade. So going about that upgrade also that cost around 9,000 plus there about and so we upgraded from 6,600 to around 9,000 plus there about so we spent like around 3,000 plus for that particular upgrade out for the battery that is two batteries that is um 100 age each and then y to watts of panels each now during that particular upgrade also going about the upgrade was it was very necessary to take into consideration you know the um angle of the sun where the sun comes from where it rises and the rest so we ended up installing those two panels on the other side of the building so the first two panels went to this side of the building and then the other two went to this um, side of the uh, building the reason was we normally have the sun rises from this place and then set around this place so when the sun rises it takes you know a long time for it to get to this point so as i know even though we're getting good amount of sun energy we're still losing some so I didn't have those two panels over here I was able to you know help um get you know good amount of energy for the batteries now that solution also was given us around 720 watts of um, panels um, solution uh, or energy from the solar panels and then also around 400 amp hours from the battery so that was like the energy we were able to get as a then and then that did cost like around um was upgraded to around 9000 cities now when it got to the point where we were um, down with the building and we had to move in there was also a need to upgrade but we took time to upgrade um, to that particular solution or the current solution we have now because as of then the solution we had was able to power up our fridge was able to power up our tv um, water pump and then the lights and then the fan in the house however it wasn't able to power up the that is especially the fridge 24 hours because um, during the daytime of course the solar panel um, is able to also supply energy to whatever devices that we are using whenever the sun is up or even during the daylight that we have so that means that we're able to pop our fridge from like early morning from around six o'clock to around four or five p.m uh get into the evening then we have to turn it off because if we keep it on it means that um some of the um, energy which would have have to store and use in the evening would have to be cut off so that was how we were regulating that until we got the final upgrade and also during then 
we were able to pop all the lights outside um, the house um, yeah throughout the evening till the next morning and we're also not watching so much of tele i'm not really so much of a, a tv person so that was how we we're going about it and then um the water pump we use it as and when we need if you want to get water in the house and there isn't so much pressure from the tank then you just turn power up the um pumping machine and that was mostly during the daytime so we're not using uh, the pump during the evening time so that was how we went about uh, the second phase of our upgrade we were able to manage situations until we got to the final phase or uh, not necessarily final but to the current stage of our upgrade so the current stage of our upgrade has two 200 age batteries so instead of additional 100 age we added to 200 age so that gives us an additional 400 age um, 400 um, amp hours so adding it to whatever we had uh, what we had earlier that was 400 makes it now 800 amp hours and then we also added two more um, panels that is 180 watts of panel so that also gives us a total of 1080 watts of um, solar you know energy or energy which is being drawn from the solar panels so as you can see Talking about the upgrade, especially with regard to the solar panels, we've stick to the same wattage of solar panels. So we started at 180 watt and all our upgrade has been with 180 watt. So, so that is an important consideration, especially when you have a certain solution of solar system and you want to upgrade. It's always advisable or recommended to stick to the same size of the uh, panels, yeah, especially the panels. But for the batteries, we're able to upgrade from 100 age to 200 age this time around now that solution or this current solution that we we have has brought the total solar cost up to around seven seventeen thousand five hundred cities so it means that we spend around eight thousand five hundred dollars about for this particular solution that was because one of the 100 age but um, 200 age batteries was selling for like around two thousand four hundred there about and then you had to buy two more panels and i had to get the rails and then um the other accessories that i needed and then the mc4 connectors and then the cables and so on so that brought the total um upgrade to like around that um amount and the current upgrade we have is able to take almost everything that we have in the house so the fridge is now able to power up 24 hours without any challenges we don't have to turn it off at any point i'm able to use power too so you saw me do some diy works here um with the first shoe racks i was using my power tool that was the um, grinding machine using it as a sandpaper machine and then i even have worked on another diy project which is like a small dining table which i'll share with you later and i was able to use a circular saw as well which takes consumes about 1200 watts of energy so i was able to use that throughout the entire project and you're able to use a pump you're able to use our iron you're able to turn on the lights you're able to use fans yeah so everything we have in the house the current solution that we have is able to uh, pop everything so like i was saying this has only been possible because of the solar system um, we started small we upgraded to a certain point and now we've upgraded to what we have now if in future there's a need to upgrade it's still going to be easier because we are able to add up more panels to it as well as add up battery to um, whatever we have now also adding up there two more panels to our solar system we had to add it to this particular point where the sun rises from so it's able to draw much energy as compared to where the sun sets or you know um yeah from the middle point to where the sun sits so basically that's the current solar system that we have um the total cost is around 17,500 cities for six panels um four batteries no six batteries um, so four of them are 100 each and then two of them are 200 each so another important consideration also especially with the solar upgrade was that um the outside light that we had that was a led light outside as a den was 50 watt each so that means that uh when we turn on all the lights that was like around 200 watts and that was a lot so there was a need to also change those ones to something which was uh, a little lower so currently what we have each of them at um, 10 watts each so that gives us a little of like 40 watts so 200 watts to 40 watts that's okay and the brightness is not so like not so bad especially what we have like the brightness is 
very very okay in the evening so that is also an important consider we needed to uh, take um, into action so we don't consume so much of the uh, energy that we have you know solar energy is a little bit limited it's not unlimited as compared to maybe um, the the grid even the grid is also limited at some point but um, you only feel it when it gets to a crucial point when there has to be load shedding so that was also an important consideration we had to take um, into action um, especially with the outside lights also one of the reasons why the cost has increased a little bit was because um, of change in prices as at you know this dollar situation that we've had for some time now or inflation so prices of goods has you know gone up so much high the amount we bought the first panels the first set of panels for we didn't get the same amount for the second set of panels and even the last set of panels also was um, different prices the same with the batteries the amount you got the two batteries the first two batteries was different from the second set of batteries and then also the final set of batteries also was um, different and then with the cable the mc4 connectors and everything so in as much as it might look a little bit expensive because we have done this over like a period it hasn't been so expensive and at least it's it's, it's been worth it i must say because we've been here now like officially three months now and if we were supposed to be paying the electricity bill as of now we would have had to spend like around 600 or eight, close to 800 cities for electricity based on the things that we have um here so that is not so but i believe that in probably in some few years to come it's really going to pay off um and i'm even sure there's going to be some increment to electricity or utility tariffs so yeah the solar system so far has been good all we just need is just um, energy from the sun or daylight and we are good to go so, so i've also been nominated for the ut creators awards in the category of um, real estate now the awards is happening sometime in november so i'm going to leave a link in the description so you can kindly try to vote for me thank you very much so that would be just about it for this particular video maybe you might have some questions or things that you which was not so clear you can just leave them in the comment section and i'll try as much as possible to respond to them so that'll be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching bye for now